Their joy makes me happy. You know, as a father, it's not what your children do, it's who your children are. You had to fire your dad at one point. Is that I something did, you talk I did. about? It's no secret your dad was not thrilled that you married Nick Lachey. That was low. In Los Angeles, the former minister got himself into a little bit of trouble. Joe Simpson is gay. Jessica Simpson might have the most complicated father and daughter relationship out there. To start, her father threw his daughters in front of the cameras and forced stardom upon their family. Then, once he got some money, he decided to cheat on his wife of a 34 years on some young 21-year-old male models. And while Joe has denied everything, his past as a minister doesn't line up with his naughty behavior. So let's get into it. Jessica Simpson has been through a lot in her career, but she's also been through a lot in her personal life. We watched her toxic marriage to Nick Lachey fall apart, and we've also seen her father, Joe, pose as a problem for a very long time. There's no denying that these two have an extra complicated relationship, and today we're diving into why her father is so problematic. Now, Joe Simpson kind of gives me Kris Jenner energy because he wanted his children to be stars. In the early 2000s, he pushed his family onto reality TV and tried to craft a formula that would keep them on. He felt like if they can have the cameras on them, then some other career could develop as well, like a music career for Ashley Simpson. Ashley was really the first daughter that he wanted to make a star within the Simpson family. Joe was behind everything, whether it's MTV's Newlyweds with Nick and Jessica, the Ashley Simpson show. He also played a big part in their music. Essentially, if the Simpsons girls were working, Joe had his hand in it. Joe even wrote on his website that he is a pioneer in the realm of reality TV. He used the medium to build a fan base for his daughters and help them sell records, many of which he also produced, like records from Ashley Simpson, I Am Me, which ended up certified platinum in 2005. Here's a clip of Joe talking a little bit about his relationship with Jessica and Ashley. What's it like being the creative director directing your daughters? Is it hard or is there a little battle of what angles to get. <laughs> now, you know what? As they're so professional. Literally, you know, I shot Jessica just, uh, I shot Jessica, you know, like within 30, 40 minutes, we were sh through with the shoot. And Ashley, because we changed the outfit some in her shoe, the, uh, we were shot at in an hour because they're so good yeah. and they know how to work a camera. So much different than a young model. Yeah. They know their stuff. What are you most proud about of your daughters? You know, they've become such wonderful parents, such professionals. What makes you proud? Their joy makes me happy. You know, as a father, it's not what your children do. It's who your children are. So at this rate, it sounds like Joe should be father of the year, right? I mean, he gave his daughters these amazing careers. But it's not as simple as that. Jessica has said that she has had a strained business relationship as well as a strained personal relationship with her father. Joe is a very interesting character. He likes to say a lot. He likes to wear flashy outfits. And Jessica started to grow away from her father. So in 2012, she decided to fire him as her manager. Jessica said that he had made some really bad deals and just stupid stuff that he promised to people and he believed that were not actually like factual. Bridges were burned and I didn't know how many until I tried to cross them. It took about five times to really fire him before the message stuck. Here's an interview of Jessica talking about that moment where she did fire her father. You had to fire your dad at one point. Is that I something did, you talk I did. about? That was, I do talk about that in the book. That was a very hard thing for me to yeah, do because sure. he was always my manager and that that was our relationship how um, did you do that what was the how did it go did you call him into your office no <laughs> I, I don't I didn't even have an office um he did but, uh -huh. uh, but did you call no, him no, into no. his office no we were actually at dinner uh-huh we were at dinner just like a family dinner did you wait till the meal had been served or had it was no it, it just flew out of my mouth i see yeah in an angry way or no in, it, just no. in like this is how i have to take care of my parents were going through a divorce at the mm -hmm. time and I was like, this is how I have to take care of the situation. And was the rest of the family just quietly eating? I mean, I don't think they were listening to us. <laughs> really? A lot of people don't listen to my dad and I. We kind of go off on our own rants. Interesting. But, I would have uh, been zeroed right in on all of that. <laughs> I, was, there were, I would yeah. not have missed one beat of it. No, yeah. but, I mean, he's backstage right now. Oh, so, so you've rehired him? Uh, no, no, 
not. He's just like my best friend. So. I see. Now, there's no doubt in my mind that Jessica has certain feelings about her father because of the divorce between her mother and father, where he was allegedly unfaithful. But we will get there. She says part of the reason why she did fire him was because of Nick, her husband. Nick was the one thing my dad and I fought over. He never said no to the label as much as he groused about how they were marketing me. But my relationship with Nick, that he could control. He was convinced that Nick didn't understand commitment, which I didn't think was fair. She says marriage is about hanging in there. I know he accused Nick of making me dependent on him for everything, which is the pot calling up the kettle to have a long talk about being black. Essentially, Joe's over here saying that Nick can't commit and that Nick won't be faithful, yet he's not being faithful to Jessica's own mother. Jessica claims her father was never supportive of Nick. There's just no nice way to put it. He continually told me I was making a mistake and told Nick to his face that I was too young to get married. At the rehearsal dinner the night before my wedding, my father acted as if the next day was his execution. He moped and kept shaking his head in front of Nick's family, saying, are you sure you want to do this? He asked. I didn't answer. And he continued, I'm right here. We can. And Jessica stopped him saying, dad, please stop. It's no secret. Your dad was not thrilled that you married Nick Lachey <laughs> when it first happened. Uh, and with the divorce, I guess there was no love lost between them. I just wonder um, Nick was a guest on my show a few years ago, mm -hmm. and we played this game called Bleed the Fifth when I was asking him the best thing about not having your dad as a father-in-law, and he kind of made a crack about your dad. I wondered if you had seen that or had I'd any. I heard about it. And what was your reaction to that? That was low. <laughs> and yeah. that's, like, not for him to talk about. So we all know how the story plays out. Jessica ends up filing for divorce against Nick. And Jessica says after she told her father Joe that she was divorcing Nick, he told her, I wish I had the courage that you have to do that with your mom. So let's get into Tina Simpson and what happened between her and Joe. At first, they seemed to have the strongest marriage in Tinseltown until they didn't. The couple were married for a whopping 34 years when Tina dropped a bombshell and filed for divorce against her husband in September 2012, same year that Jessica fired him. She cited discord or conflict of personalities, despite there being rumors that he had been cheating on Tina with a male model. A male model, people. We got an LGBTQ over here. Keep in mind that Joe was a Baptist minister at the Heights Baptist Church in Texas. So for this good old Christian Texas man to be sleeping with a male model when he's married to Tina Simpson? That's a problem. Now, Jessica did not take this news well at all. Granted, she was pregnant and in the hospital when he decided to tell her that they were divorcing. She said, my father's timing added a layer of terrible sadness to what had been a joyous time. For a long time, I harbored a lot of resentment about the way he told me the family I knew was over. Jessica did inform her readers that her parents were fighting all the time, but she was still blindsided by the news and then buried it. She writes, in August, my mother discovered that my father had betrayed their marriage with a man and she thought things were turning around for them. They actually just had a great anniversary trip, um, but uh, it looks like they weren't actually turning a corner. They were just kind of getting along for once because her dad was fully checked out. Jessica says that when Tina confronted Joe, Joe kept calling Jessica, but Jessica was ignoring it, knowing what was going on. Joe then showed up to Jessica's house saying, I'm not with anybody else. I love your mother. Jessica says that's when Eric stepped in. He said something like, each time you deny your own truth, Something intense happens. You have to listen to the signs and take care of it yourself. Jessica has no extra energy to give you right now. Honestly, that's really nice of Eric to stand up for Jessica because Nick really didn't have that chance or at least it did not go down well. So Eric is her current husband and he is not having any of Joe. Jessica claimed that her dad moved on quickly. Maybe he'd planned it so long in advance that he had a running start ahead of my mother, she wrote. But in many ways, Tina had lost her best friend. She was 20 when she got married. She was the youngest child. He gave her the world. She said that he didn't just give her identity. Joe Simpson was her identity for a long time. Now, because Jessica and Ashley Simpson are both public figures, as well as this family, everybody was talking about their divorce and how messy it was going to get. He insisted on half of everything because you know tina's the one that went off and did jessica simpson's clothing line which so is what made all has, the money so he actually she 
has way more money than he does. Yes. Wow. And he yeah. wanted half. Now, did he want half of, of her ladies' clothing line because he wanted the clothes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking. And he's boyfriend. more of a shoe man. And I think originally Tina was so mad she offered Joe, we had heard, $100 million right off the bat. Just right. to go away. Yeah. $100 million go away. Yeah. It looks like she finally caved. I mean, after a while. Uh, they also agreed to split the, the life insurance policy they took out on Jessica. Four and a half million bucks when she dies. They get to split that if she dies before, before they them. do, right? right. Uh -huh. Tina gets to keep this house they had in Waco, Texas, uh, about 10 or so bank accounts. She gets a couple of cars, a Range Rover Sport, a Porsche 997 Coupe. I don't know if that means anything to the guys on the show. Joe gets half of their house in Sherman Oaks. Okay. I guess they're going to sell it and split it. Mm. Uh, a 2012 Mercedes SLS and a 2011 Mercedes S63. So Joe got a little screwed over in that divorce, but it makes sense if you are going to be cheating on your partner, that's what's going to happen. Remember, Joe defined himself as a pioneer in reality TV. Well, he's tried to continue this, but he hasn't had much luck. He had a 2013, like, girl group show on MTV wasn't a hit. 2007 sitcom called Women's Murder Club. In 2013, he eventually gave up after that one failed reality show. And he actually said, I don't watch a lot of reality TV. I guess trying to say like, it's just not his thing anymore. When in reality, he couldn't do what he did before without his daughters there. So of course, he's tried to use his daughter's fame in ways to leverage some clout and to earn some money. I guess in 2015, he went to a rooftop party in New York and actually started begging, saying, please let me in. I am Jessica Simpson's father, which um, he pulled out his phone and scrolled through his Instagram as proof. Oh, gosh. Joe Simpson, who was reportedly dressed in full Justin Bieber attire, complete with one pant leg rolled up and multiple necklaces, was later allowed to enter the party. However, name dropping is never really a good look. Although Joe wasn't really finding his footing, he did not give up and he ended up getting into photography, which he's been decent at. He said, I've always loved being behind the camera. I was even the photographer at my own wedding when I was 19. There is something about taking pictures that makes me happy and it's always been a hobby for me. Joe soon began landing editorial contracts and was exhibiting his work at solo shows and galleries in LA. He was actually able to snag up a position as a staff photographer for LA models. And it turns out he built quite a portfolio for himself. So, okay, Joe, like, look at him not giving up. Here's a clip of Joe out at work. They just want to make sure that I still have what it takes. Like, wait, is this, hey, is this, this is Joe Simpson? Yeah. Like, Jessica Simpson's like, wow. Hello! Hi! How's How it going? Are you? Tom, Simpson. nice to meet you, Nice to meet you, Tom. Come in. You want some bachelor pad? So, make yourself at home. I remember being in college, sitting on my couch, watching Newlyweds, watching Joe Simpson on TV. And now, Tom hits me up and he's like, I'm going to shoot with Joe Simpson. Maybe, like, Jessica will pop out. All right, my man. Welcome this to my awesome. art space. Okay, so the girls, we got boots and we got all kinds of other stuff. But guys, we got stomach in. All right. That's hot. That's right. I'm right here. Yeah, that's hot. Reach into the camera like you're going to kiss the lens. That's hot. As a fellow LGBT person, I can, you know, I fruity tooty, but that's okay. You know, we all love to embrace different sides of us. I mean, that entire clip, everything was giving. But let's go ahead and talk about these rumors because I don't like outing people. I don't believe in that. I don't even think we really need to talk about like sexuality. But when it comes to Joe, it's been a big deal because like I mentioned earlier, he was a pastor. So these rumors of him cheating on his wife with a man, I mean, that's not going to look good. Just as Joe's marriage to Tina fell apart, there were rumors that he was secretly gay. In October 2012, Radar Online went on to allege that he had spent thousands of dollars while playing the role of sugar daddy to a then 21-year-old model, Bryce Chandler Hill. Ooh, let's look him up. Oh, weird. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. So here we go. There's our guy. Does he have an Instagram? Let's see. I don't really see him on social media, so he's kind of disappeared since this coverage. Not this article. Oh, wait, hold on. So many ads. Don't trust Joe Simpson's alleged boy toy or his tan. <gasps> Not them trying to come for Bryce's tan. Oh my God. In case you're up to it, there are reports that Joe is gay and getting it on with Bryce. Bryce claims he's been dating Joe for roughly a year and absolutely loves to boast about it because he loves being the center of attention. He's also been quick to tell anyone that will listen 
Bryson that he's using Joe to climb up the showbiz ladder. Bryce is desperate to become famous, and he's done lots of modeling and wants to become an actor. Yeah, this sounds like incredibly toxic. I would divorce too. But according to the magazine, the catalyst led to Tina filing for divorce after she found out about this affair and that cash flow. Of course, Joe called up TMZ at the time and denied everything and said that he is far from gay. But jump to February 2014, there are reports when there are photos surfacing of Joe on the beach in Miami with a younger man. Now you guys know Joe is a photographer, so he claims that this was just a photo shoot, he was with a client, it was a meeting, but you know, the paparazzis thought otherwise. LA Times asked Jessica about her dad's sexuality, in which she replied that it isn't her story to tell and they don't discuss it together. That same year in 2014, when he was spotted with his client, just three days before her wedding to Eric, Joe shared that he was bringing a male model date to the event as a plus one. It was someone he often shot for his photography business. According to Fox News, Jessica wasn't happy that her father was going to bring this random guy to her wedding. It just seems very inappropriate, especially with her mom there. Jessica wrote, my father called me three days before we left for the wedding to tell me that he was bringing his friend Jonathan, a young male model he often shot for in his photography business. Now, I don't know if Jonathan was more than a client, but it is a little bit weird to make this moment about yourself. Like, it's your daughter's wedding. Why do you need to entertain this? But all of these rumors, they have gone out to the mainstream and people have talked about them everywhere. So everyone kind of knows what Joe's about. With Jessica Simpson's, how you doing, father? Oh, man. Joe. Okay. So the National Enquirer broke the story that allegedly Joe Simpson is gay and that even though he's been married to Tina for 34 years, he has allegedly been having a uh, tryst with men and supposedly dating a good friend of Ashley and Jessica's named Bryce. Honey, this is the part, this is the part where I'm just saying shut the front door. It's, it's not even, you know, it's not even the gay part because Mrs. Simpson will get over that. Right. It is, repeat. All right, so a friend a 21-year-old male model named Bryce. Look he Bryce! has reportedly been bragging to all of his friends of that he's been he's hooking talking. up with Joe for the past year. And reportedly, he wants to get really famous, and he felt like this was his golden oh ticket to fame. All right, but here's where it gets worse. Now, uh, reportedly, allegedly, uh, an escort has come forward, a male escort, saying that he has had trysts with Joe. And Tina supposedly has found text messages, photographs of Bryce. Um, uh, modeling photos that were taken at her home. I mean, I agree with Wendy Williams. Shut the front door, especially if that's like a friend to your children's. Like that is even worse. Well, the media must have gotten to Joe because he eventually decided to come out to his family. He told them that he tried to continue his marriage to Tina. He wanted to, but he couldn't go any longer and deny the fact that he had feelings for men, which, you know, I have some empathy like there because, you know, I came out at 14. I don't know what it would have been like to be born 30 years ago. Like, it, it just like the mental health, like even just in where we are now, it is supposed to be better, right? Like this is better. Um, it just, yeah, I can't. So like, I, I'm sure he was really internally struggling and probably wanting to keep everything afloat, but just couldn't. Now I do want to talk a little bit about Joe's legal past, just like some of the criminal things he's gone into, because you know, if I'm going to talk about someone, I'm going to dig up every part of it and 2012. Damn, it must have been a bad year for him because that's when everything fell apart and he got a DUI. He was driving down Ventura Boulevard in Los Angeles when he was stopped at a sobriety checkpoint. He agreed to a breathalyzer test and I guess he had a couple like of glasses of wine at dinner. But TMZ learned that Joe had been driving with a 0.12 blood alcohol level and was booked and spent the night in jail. He was ordered by a judge to stay away from all alcohol while out on bail and awaiting his court date. Which honestly, like DUIs, I, I like have no no time for a DUI uh, but they happen unfortunately and people make bad choices and you know yeah it's terrible I mean I don't think anyone should I just would never condone that and I'm glad that like you know there is some repercussions to it but it is it's also scary in Los Angeles the former minister got himself into a little bit of trouble Joe was driving home Saturday in Sherman Oaks California around 10 p.m. And according to TMZ, cops pulled him over and later arrested him after officers suspected he'd been drinking. The 54-year-old manager was taken to jail where he spent the night. He was released the following morning without posting bail and criminal charges have not been filed. It seems that Joe and Jess have switched roles a bit. The new mom revealed a more tame lifestyle just hours before her dad's arrest, tweeting, 
responsibility has drastically changed my life. Saturday night, drink of choice, water. Since that accident, you know, Joe has tried to bring his family back together. In 2016, he had some issues with cancer, which he was able to survive. By May 2017, he was cancer free. In 2018, actually, Joe opened up about the life changing ordeal with his daughter Ashley on her show, Ashley and Evan, which I never heard of this show, Ashley and Evan. Where was that? Like, there's so much reality TV that they've been a part of that I had no idea they did so much. And even though cancer was really scary and sad for this family, it kind of like brought them all back together. And now Joe has a much closer relationship with Ashley and Jessica and Jessica's children. Her eldest daughter, 11-year-old Maxwell, dedicated her birthday wish to Joe. Jessica writes in part in a May 7th Instagram post, quote, Maxwell's birthday wish was for her Papa Joe's bone cancer treatment to work. She told me after she blew out her 11 candles, I made a wish that was for me and you and actually the whole family. I said, Maxie, it should be your wish. And she said, we have the same wishes, mom. At the end of the day, I just wanted the best for this family, but it's wild to see everything they've gone through and how the media played such a role. You really can't hide anything. I mean, the truth will come out one day. So I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you in a new video soon. Bye, guys.